Hello YouTubers! Today what we're going to do is we're going to use metal ducting tape for your ductwork in your house and we are going to use it to emboss stickers using the Silhouette Curio. Um, the duct tape comes on these big rolls and so it's sticky but has a backing on it so you can emboss your stickers and then keep them and since it's metal it holds its shape really really well. So let's go show you what you need. All right, so we are not using this. This is duct tape. We are using this stuff. It's metal ducting tape. Um, you can find it at the hardware store too. I'll leave a link down below, um, but it's for the duct work in your house, um, how they keep it airtight. So this is two inches and this is two and a half inches in silver. I have, I think this is two inches in copper. The copper honestly is a little bit more annoying to deal with because it doesn't want to stick quite as well after it's embossed and cut as the silver does, but it's so pretty, so, and it seems to be more likely to kink, but it's really pretty, so it's kind of hard to say no to. You're gonna need your curio mat. We're using a little one, and this is the foam embossing mat. And then we're gonna use your standard ratchet to cut out your tape. And then we're gonna use the embossing tip. We're using this one which is the fine embossing tip. We're not using the fat one. We're using the fine embossing tip. And I do believe this comes with the machine. So let's go over to the software and set it up. All right. So we are in the software now. I've got my Curio mat up. If you have Designer Edition or Designer Edition Plus, all you need to do is plug in your Curio and have it turned on. If you have Business Edition, you're gonna need to go and make sure it's the default cutter. See mine is down here with the check mark. Um, you can click on this little silhouette looking thing and that's how you can make something your default cutter is you right click and hit set as default. And then you're gonna have to go back over here to page settings and then you'll have to click your embossing mat from the, the scroll down menu. And then up here, put the automatic curio. So what I did is do, I did file and merge and it brought in my design. Um, this is our Christmas swirl. I'll put a link down there. Um, I seem to like the swirly things to emboss more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make him come over here, transformation window, and our sideways thing, our sideways line. And then I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna put my tape along here, it's two and a half inches. So I want this guy to be about two and a half or 2.25. So I wanna give him a little bit of room. All right, so I didn't lock my aspect ratio and that's why it looks so weird now. So the good old undo button. So let's lock them. Let's try that again. There you go. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to click, I call it the fat star. If you do not have your machine set as the, is either the one that's plugged in and turned on or the default cutter, this probably might be grayed out. So I call it the fat star. We're gonna deboss because what happens if you don't deboss, it flips it and it'll it'll do it over here for you. Um, then we're going to click what looks like the ratchet blade. We are using the fine embossing tip. We're gonna do one pass. Um, and then we're gonna click um, the apply score and emboss lines. And what it did, is it put in these red cut lines and then it put in blue embossing lines which you may not be able to see some designs um, kind of turn on the outside of the things turn a little blue but I don't want these red cutting lines so I'm gonna grab them grab my design and scoot him over and I'm gonna click this and we're gonna delete it now I know it looks like you haven't done anything, but if you go over here to send, you'll see all these blue embossing lines will pop up. So you have done stuff. So now for this guy, there's two ways you can get an outline. You can come over here and draw like an oval around it. If you wanted to do that and have this oval be cut out as your design, as your, as your cutout. You can also just cut them out with some scissors if you want to. But what I like to do is go over here to the offset window. So 
I'm going to zoom in. Because if you try to zoom in or out after you click this window and start messing with it, it'll set the offset. So we're going to click the offset. It goes down in fives now. You can click in and click um, and type in a specific number if you want one. That seems to be. I just kind of do it by eye. So now I have a line around my, my tree. That's going to be the line that we're going to tell the machine to cut. So that'll be our cutout line and then all those blue embossing lines we just put in will be what the, the machine embosses. So I'm going to grab this guy and move him over. One of the extra parts is sometimes it leaves me all these little bits in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click all of it. Right click and say release compound path. Let's scoot this little guy over. And I'm going to click all those little bits and delete them because I don't want them. So let's make this guy red real quick. So line color, we'll make him red. And now we'll go back to the transform button. So I'm going to click this guy and I'm going to hold my shift key and hold my outline. And then I'm going to have my bullseye over here. And it's going to line them up perfectly. I'm going to go up here to object and rotate. And we're going to rotate him 90 degrees clockwise. We're going to click all of this. Then we're going to go up here to object and rotate and rotate 90 degrees. Now I'm going to come and move him up here. My tape's two and a half inches. So we'll put it down a little bit in the top and that should emboss it. So I'm over in the sin panel and I've done the same thing to this Merry Christmas. I'm just kind of curious what it'll look like. So this is two and a half inches. So we're all within where this tape should be. And now it defaults over to this, which I don't like. So let's come over to line color. And now what we're going to do is all right, so the blue is the embossing, and this red is going to default to score. So what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag this guy up, because what I want to do first is emboss. All right, so this is our blue tool. So we have tool one and tool two. This is our blue tool, and we're going to do score and emboss paper, and we're going to use our embossing tool. Now down here is our speed is five and a force of 33. We do not need a force of 33. We need a force of five. What I like about this is we can now save as, or we can now revert if we don't like this. So that's what we're gonna do. And then if you click on those little lines, this tells you the platforms. I'm not entirely sure what a platform of six means. If I'm honest, hopefully um, some more will come out about this before and they'll do something, but that's where the platforms are now. Now we're gonna come down here to score and emboss, and we're gonna change this default to sticker paper white. And then we're gonna come down here to, to our blade will not be at two, our blade will be at one. So our blade will be at one instead of two, and that will be enough to cut out this paper. Our, our duct tape. Um, let me go show you. We're going to go put our foil down on our paper and then we'll send it to the machine. All right. So the Curio wants to cut things that are five millimeters tall out. This is basically not very tall at all. So we're going to use, um, we're going to use five platforms. So or a platform height of five. So this is a two and a two and then a one. The embossing mat has a platform of one. So two, two, and one. It's the platforms that we'll be using. And we're gonna put them on our little base. Now, this is a more well-loved mat. I don't honestly know if it makes any difference, but um, it might be a little trickier to get the tape off a mat that's stickier because um, without getting the tape to crease. So, we're going to take our two and a half inch duct tape and we're going to kind of guesstimate 
and you cut some off. Um, this copper tape is done the exact same way. Same settings and everything. And then we're going to put it down a little bit from the top because my designs aren't right at the top. And then we stick it on. And just to show you, we'll, uh, we'll make something out of this copper too. I cut off some of these wrinkles and then we'll put this copper down here at the bottom and I'll put a couple more designs up so y'all can see that too. So you're just going to line it with the bottom, this bottom line. That's the last grid on your paper. And see what I mean? It just creased already. So, but it's so pretty. But anyway, I'll put another design up. You're going to need your ratchet, ratchet blade set at one. Set at one and then your fine embossing tip. Alright, so this is my Curio. See, this is the red tool holder and this is the blue one. So I'm going to put my ratchet blade in the first one and lock it in. And then I'm going to put my fine embossing tip in the blue one. Put it in. That is my puppy with her ball. In hopes that I will throw it. Alright, you're going to put your base and push it all the way in. I'm going to... All right, my power button is blinking because it doesn't know the bases in here. You're gonna put this double arrow button. Now you have bases and they're locked in. You can't pull them out. This is the pause button. One of the uber cool things about the Curio is you can pause it, take your design out, look at it, put it back in and the machine will go pop into the exact same spot. Now we're gonna hit the send button from uh, the computer. All right, so the machine has embossed everything. It's now gonna cut. Before it cuts, you wanna make sure that it's not gonna cut on your mat. So see everything, all of our stuff is well within the boundaries of the tape. So it won't cut my mat because if it cuts your mat, it's gonna hurt it. So now it's going to cut everything out. One quick thing on the software, if you want to, if you're right here, you right click and you can put add a pause. So it'll pause it and then you can double check before it goes to cut. All right, so you're gonna have to hit the double arrow button again to get them, to get the bases out of the machine. And so that's what our stickers look like. I just put a row of, they're gonna go on the Christmas cards and they just don't like to stick as well. They drive me nuts. So you're gonna flip it over to the back I flip the stickers over to the top and this will help keep them from getting so wrinkled when you're getting them off so see this way they don't get wrinkled because you're dealing with metal tape so you can peel them right off your mat too so basically if you want to at this point just be kind of ginger when you do this but you can just peel them right off and Stick them down wherever you want them to go. If you're getting a Christmas card for me this year, be surprised when you get them. <laughs> cool. And you can do whatever you want to. I hope you enjoyed. I will be back with another tutorial later. Please like and subscribe to our little channel. Um, thank you so much.